Two more races to go before the lunch break. And here is Senior Rotax, Heat 3, Groups A versus C, race 8 of the meeting. Let's have a look at the starting grid. Sean Butcher starts from pole position and alongside from the UAE will be Rashid Ghanem. Matilda Olsson and Felix Jansson make it an all-Swedish row two. Then it's Lachlan Robinson and uh, David Lackner, row three. Row four, it's uh, Daniel uh, Kinhath from, uh, from Austria and Zino Kovac from Hungary. Benedek Vida and Chloe Canal round out the top ten ahead of the all-Belgian row six. Nick Coppens and Gilles Chloé. Mete Argun, Miro Halika, Luka Kosta, and an apology to Serbia's Andrei Petrovic, who had a storming drive in his first heat, start 16th. But good to see Petrovic firing on all cylinders and uh, showcased what could have been a very different story uh, if the Serbian had actually uh, qualified, uh, been able to take part in qualifying yesterday afternoon. So we've got 10 minutes on the clock plus an additional lap. So far today, Matilda Olson and Rashid Ghanem have both picked up a heat victory. And this will be their second respective heat of competition as it will be the case for the likes of Sean Butcher, Lachlan Robinson, uh, Daniel Kenrith, uh, Benedek Vida, so everyone that is on the same side as the driver on pole position, which will be Sean Butcher, this will be their second heat, and they'll have a little bit of a breather in between their final heat of the afternoon. So Butcher on pole, gun him alongside, into the tram lines. Revs rise, I'll be ready. Lights are out, we're off and racing, and a good start for, by both Butcher and Olson side by side between Jansson and Robinson and Robinson gets through and now up into P4 for the Dubai based driver and through they go Sean Butcher has already gotten away early and Rashid Ghanem trying to impose pressure on Matilda Olson in the early goings and Lachlan Robinson is now closing in on them Felix Jansson is battling away as Kenhoeth and Lackner go into battle side by side and Lackner is ahead at the moment in the battle of the Austrians but Sean Butcher comes around the final corner to lead them on to lap number two and he leads by half a second from Matilda Olson Rashid Gunnam and Lachlan Robinson rounds out the top four positions followed by Sweden's uh, Felix Jansson, Miro Halika now rounds out the top 12 as Gilles Chloé and Serbia's Andrei Petrovic now have moved up some positions in the meantime. Uh, so oh, there's a little bit of contact between a couple of the drivers outside of the top 10. Looks to be maybe the likes of Miro Halika and uh, maybe Gilles Chloé or Nick Kuppens. And that was coming through into turn 6 as uh, the 619 of Miro Halika. Looks to go up the inside of one of the other drivers. Looks to be Chloe Canal. As Canal, oh, gives an assist from behind. Unsettles the back end of Miro Halika, who nearly goes sideways to the left going through turn 12, but manages to keep it on the road. Butcher still has the lead by about close to half a second ahead of Matilda Olson. And Felix Jansson makes it the top five covered by just exactly 1.3 seconds after two laps of racing. We're on to lap number three as we've uh, already passed the first couple of minutes completed out of this 10 minute plus an additional lap race so Kenrith has gotten ahead of David Lackner in the meantime and now we'll start chasing Felix Jansson from Sweden and uh, Andrei Petrovic again using the pace to move up the order and now we'll start hunting down the drivers in front Sean Butcher again still leads after three laps and the gap is being reduced. Matilda Olson did briefly hold the fastest lap of the race but that goes to the 320 of Andre Petrovic who now puts in a 49.897 la uh, second lap time. And now is closing in on Nick Kuppens from Belgium in 10th place. And when they crossed the line last time it was just 
0.468 of a second. That could be truncated by the young Serbian very, very shortly indeed. So out of the final corner once again, Butcher continues to lead the way. Olson second, Ganem, Robinson, Jansson, Kinhath, Lakna, Kovac, Vida, Kupens, Petrovic, Kanal, Halika, Argun, Kusta and Kluwe. That is your 16 strong field. They are all still circulating, but there is an almighty scrap. There's four of them, one of which who's stuck in the middle of all of that is Kluwe Kanal from France. And he's got the likes of... Uh, more than likely Mido Halika Mete Argun and also I think Nick Kuppens in the meantime there as well well Kuppens is actually a little bit further up the road from that and he's uh, trying to keep pace with Andrei Petrovic so just over four minutes of this race completed and it has pretty much been a stalemate so far but with a top 10 covered by 4.2 seconds after just five laps, we're on lap number six. And Sean Butcher now hits the high 49 nines, goes to within seven one hundredths of a second off of Andrei Petrovic's fastest lap in the 320. And Butcher's extended the gap to Olson to nearly half a second. So we're halfway through the race, still just over five minutes to go, plus a lap. Butcher leads them on to lap number seven. Olson now gets the gap down and she puts the fastest lap time in. Still remember in 2018 when she had a, a knee injury, um, she was the quickest driver in the majority of the races, all bar maybe one or two. And she secured P3 in the championship. I still remember her in Kristianstad being interviewed uh, on the live stream. And she still had a, a, a knee brace. And also, she was on crutches at Kristianstad on home soil that same season. But she's three and a half tenths behind Sean Butcher. Rashid Ghanem completes the top three. Robinson holding station in fourth ahead of Felix Jansson. And Andrei Petrovic is in the top ten. And is trying to close in on those in front. The next one on his list will be Benedek Vida from Hungary. And Petrovic that time had, I think, probably one of the slowest laps he's had in this race. 50.346 from the young Serbian. And now Butcher and Olson have broken away from Rashid Ganem. And the gap between Olson and Ganem last time around was just under eight and a half tenths. Uh, Robinson's just put in a personal best to 50.022. Russia Ganem has also done the same, but put in a 49.969. Sean Butcher a 49.803. But Olson is closing. The slipstream effect now starting to come into play as they go through into the right-hander at turn three. Gap less than three tenths. And Olson just waiting. Was battling away with Butcher and Robinson last season for the overall championship. But Butcher is holding station, trying to make the, the back end of that cosmic chassis as wide as possible. So if Olson goes for an attack, he can try and uh, stay ahead. Two minutes and 35 seconds on the clock remaining. And Butcher still leads, but Olson now is closer this time. Gap was 0.281. It's now 0.237. Olson looking to strike. And it's going to be the run down into turn three. Looks to the inside. Gets through. Now Butcher back into second position on what is now lap number 10. So we're into double digits. But as long as Sean Butcher keeps up the pace, he will have an opportunity of his own 
to get past Matilda Olson, but that very much is easier said than done. But when you have to factor in that both Robinson and Butcher, along with Mark Kimber, are three drivers gunning for the final two steps on the championship podium come the end of this race weekend. And it's just about keeping a cool head. Not making any unforced errors, not making any wild Banzai-like attacks on opponents. Because if the move is going to be clean, you've got to be fully committed. If you're 90% committed, the move might, might not pay off and it might cause you a problem in the intermediate classification. As the two leaders make their way through the chicane, Butcher is keeping Matilda Olson within arm's length. Three tenths was the gap last time around at the completion of lap 10. And Olson for the last two laps has been running in the 49.7s. Sean Butcher on lap 9 was a 49.8, so 50.3 from the uh, Aussie running the, under the UK side of things. And now he's brought it back up to pace, 49.747. As David Lackner gets back past Daniel Kienhardt. So the two Austrians are battling away for what is sixth and seventh. So David Lackner in the Tony Kart is very much uh, leading that battle. So 21 seconds on the clock remain. And Olson leads the way. Butcher is doing his uh, work towards a good intermediate classification finish. No problems at all. It's about getting points on the board and the higher up you finish, so it's zero points for a win. And Olson gets the last lap board. Sean Butcher, I think, is going to be uh, pretty happy to stay in second position. The finals tomorrow will be a different proposition altogether. Rashid Ghanem and Lachlan Robinson ran out the top four positions. So... Felix Janssen in fifth place. But Olson will become the second race winner. So two for Matilda Olson. Rashid Ghanem, who currently sits in P3, has already won the second senior road tax heat earlier on today. But the chequered flag is now being prepared on the start-finish line. As Matilda Olson from Sweden comes out of the final corner. She's going to do another race victory here today ahead of Sean Butcher and the winning margin points nearly seven and a half tenths of a second and a good showing from KR Sport in this race as the two other drivers Rashid Ghanem and Lachlan Robinson complete the top four positions ahead of Dan Holland Racing's Felix Janssen. David Lackner rounds out the top six ahead of Daniel Kainhath, uh, Zino Kovac. Andrei Petrovic makes a bit of head, uh, headway into this one. Started 16th and finished in 9th. Ahead of Benedek Vida. Nick Kuppens in 11th ahead of Finland's Milo Harika. Chloe Canal in 13th ahead of Mete Argun with Luca Costa and Gilles Chloe rounding out the 16. With all of them uh, having completed 13 laps within 11.7 seconds of each other.